one second after tells us all hell breaks loose when the world comes apart. If you have food and the gangs know it, they will come for it. Oh, Other yeah. people, your neighbors, your sweet, sweet neighbors, don't tell them you got food unless they're part of the team that's your, your little group of people that you trust. As long as they're being fed, they probably won't turn on you. But, you know, the, the Bible says they're going to eat their arms. The Bible says they're going to eat their babies. Then it says they're going to eat their children. That's what people do when they get hungry. So Jim Baker is this really fool because he's telling you to store food. If the Social Security checks don't come, what are you going to do? I'm not talking about atomic bombs. I'm not talking about tornadoes. I'm not talking about tsunamis. I'm talking about the government's already broke. How come you have more trust in, in the, even our money setting? God we trust, but the government doesn't mean that anymore. That's probably against the law to say that in our country. But how can we trust a country that's broke? that has a right for a separate entity to print money that's worthless, that's as valuable as the paper that it's printed on, maybe not even that valuable. Mm -hmm. What do we do? Help me with this. Well, and that's the point of, of your ministry. That's one of the major points I make in my book is that, look, when it all falls apart like that, then, then it comes down to basic survival. So, and, and that, so these buckets, if nothing happens but the, and the government goes broke, and we already are, it's not a fool. The Bible says a fool doesn't prepare. Exactly. You're and yet preachers are telling them, Yes. That they're foolish if they store up. No, you're a fool. There's Peter literally that. saying, don't do what Jim Baker's saying. I know. I don't want that blood on my hands. Yeah. When you're huddled in a corner with your grandbaby and they're screaming and crying and there's no food, I don't want that blood on my hands, preacher. That's right. That's right.